Hi, hello, welcome to another video. Here you see the website that I generally share articles every day and you can check those recent articles I have encountered. I believe they are quite useful and interesting articles that may help you to uh, write your own articles or, or increase your knowledge in psychology or psychiatry. So this this article that I, I picked um, is about promises and pitfalls of deep neural networks in neuroimaging based psychiatric research. And neuroimaging was uh, emphasized here because of the neuroimaging data may differ from the other psychiatric data. Uh, and then the pitfalls are possible or maybe the other machine learning, mm, machine learning approaches may uh, solve the problems with better accuracy. So we cannot always assume that neural networks are relatively new methods and then they will perform better. Sometimes the logistic regression can perform better and uh, there are, it's controversial really those, mm, those new methods substantially uh, improve the accuracy in every occasion. So that, that's why studies actually focus actually uh, emphasizes the uh, field that they made the research. Um, by promise, let's read the abstract of it, by promising more accurate diagnostics and individual treatment recommendations, deep neural networks and in particular convolutional neural networks have advanced to a powerful in medical imaging. Here we first review an introduction into metal methodological key concepts and resulting uh, methodological promises including representation and transfer learning as well as modeling domain specific peers and after reviewing recent applications within neuroimaging based psychiatric research such as the diagnosis of psychiatric diseases delineation of disease subtypes and normative modeling as you know they uh, diff there, there are different methods to um, delineate disease subtypes and then it differs based on the approach that you pick so and uh, especially diagnosis of psychiatric diseases and prediction models are very important and uh, the development of neuroimaging biomarkers we discuss current challenge this include for example the difficulty of training models on small heterogeneous and biased data sets um, the lack of validity of clinical labels, algorithmic bias, and the influence of confounding var variables. Sometimes the data sample size is small, and then it seems to be then your model may account like like 100 person, but in fact it doesn't mean that it performs well. It it may indicate some mistake. So also gener also how it can be generalized and how it perform well in an independent sample is the most important uh, thing and uh, as they mentioned here the lack of validity of clinical labels and uh, also there are influences of confounding variables as they uh, in especially in human studies there's no way to uh, to just uh, avoid confounding variables like in physics studies or like some Biological studies, they can put the animals in a cage and to, it minimize the confounding variables, but the, these are humans, so you cannot just, you cannot just uh, put them in a cage to, uh, for doing research. And so, if you are interested in this article, you can find this article searching this title. And thanks for watching this, this video. I wish you have enjoyed it. Wish you have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.